Hi, my name is Denise Chambers. I'm a real estate agent in South Florida with the Kais Company. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And also, I would definitely love if you would subscribe, click the link, share, and also don't forget the notification bell so you can get upcoming videos that I will be posting. Today, I wanted to take a moment to speak to you about closing costs. If you're thinking about purchasing a home in the Sunshine State, which is Florida, and you're thinking of buying a home or a condo, I'd like to share with you some of the closing costs that you will definitely have to take on. When all you need is for a loan your lender will have to pull your credit now this credit is normally pulled from the three bureaus and typically you can see the price range from anywhere from 175 all the way to $250 and this is an estimate so you have to prepare for that cost because they will have to pull your credit to see if you're worthy to get a loan closing or settlement fee now you will have to definitely pay a fee to the title company the escrow agent or if you are using an attorney to close this transaction there are some fees that you definitely will not be able to negotiate for example appraisal because you're securing a loan the lender wants to make sure that the loan or the investment is solid and so they will definitely request an appraisal to determine the value of the home now the appraisal may vary depending on the type of loans that you're taking and just from experience typically i see where the appraisal can range anywhere in the upper 400 so the mid 500 or closer to 600 dollars another cost is title search now the title search is normally done by the title company and this is to make sure that the seller has the right to actually sell that property it also looks at if there is any lien against that property or for example old mortgages that needs to be paid off Buyer's documentary stamp tax is another cost that you will have to pay if you're purchasing a home or even a condo. For every $100 that is spent for that loan, you will have to pay 35 cents. So for example, if you're going to be purchasing a condo for $150,000, then you are looking to pay about $525 in taxes for that property. Believe it or not, in South Florida or Florida in general, buyers have prepaid costs. Now, prepaid costs is totally different from your closing costs. Your closing costs are all those items that are associated with you getting the mortgage and also working with the title company. But the prepaid costs, these are different. These are actually costs that you will have to pay at closing in advance for certain items and these items would include things such as prepaid interest these are mortgage interest that is due between when you actually close that is the date you close and when the first mortgage payment is due prorated property tax normally the property tax this is normally paid by the seller in advance so you year close the property tax is prorated from the day that you actually close until the end of the tax year. Home Owners Association Transfer Fee If you are purchasing a home that is governed by an association, then they will expect you to pay a cost to have the transfer document showing that you are now the new owner. When you actually or finally acquire a mortgage, an escrow account will be created for you at closing. Now, it will be the lender's responsibility to make sure that reserve funds are available in this account. And in this account, you will have up to two months worth of property tax, homeowner's insurance, and even possible flood insurance for the following year don't worry about it the escrow account will have this reserve and the mortgage company will actually pay this on your behalf so you don't have to worry about you paying the insurance or the property tax on your new home